I guess we can proceed to Dead City. Ah, we're part of here? Dead City looks relatively okay. <gasps> Lady Masquerade! Alex followed Juraki's eyes and spotted Masquerade guarding the main square of the city. <gasps> Dr. Alex? The woman asked for this case and suddenly fell forward as if her strength had abandoned her. Luckily, a pair of strong arms caught her before she could hit the ground. Mine or Reckles? Ah, Dr. Alex! How long have I dread to be killed by you? But I must admit that your body feels squishier than I thought. Oh, is it Chiragi? It's something soft is wrapping around my head. Like two enormous pillows. <laughs> Lady Masquerade! Please answer me! Unfortunately for the saint, the one who had rushed to stop her fall was none other than her pupil, Yuragi. Huh? Yuragi? Yes, I'm right here. Yuragi! It is the man who's expected to rush to, to the help of the maiden in need in this situation. <gasps> is that so? I had no idea. I'm terribly sorry. Looks like Masquerade is doing better than we thought. Yep. Platinum is sure she could still fight. <coughs> oh dear, I'm so exhausted I can't even stand up on my own. Now. If a proper gentleman could lend me a hand by holding my very body with his strong arms. Nah, see? She's so exhausted that she doesn't even know what she's saying anymore. But seriously, you sure had defeated an impressive number of monsters? That city is surrounded by a mountain of corpses? Alex scanned the impressive scenery and then turned towards the scene with an incredulous look. Yes. I am a half-dragon after all, and I have received Cutie's blessing to at least do this much. Why didn't you destroy the giant mushroom that spread into sports if you're so strong? Well, it is true that I could swim to Sentinel's Mound and obliterate that fungus with a punch. Let me guess, Cutie forbids you to do that. Just like with Bob? Indeed. I too must obey QD's decision to not meddle with humanity's destiny. That damn QD! Why did she come up with an annoying girl like that? Then sure that no dragon would be able to enslave and rule over humanity. So it was all to avoid the narrow tyranny founded on, the, on our violence like the one established by the Holy Knight? I see that you have learned about the actions of the High Saint and his Holy Knight. Yeah, we've been in this type settlement. We're not sure if we should believe what we have read there, though. Well, I can't vouch for what you have read. I'd simply trust the stories that the old saints told me. And I have a feeling that their contents may be the same. I must ask, uh, ask you to keep this matter to yourself. For now. <sighs> we wouldn't be able to talk about it with anyone if we wanted to. Everyone is convinced that the Holy Knight and the Hike Saint were heroes to save the world. Now we're just gonna believe us. Anyway, let's forget about all this for now. There's something else I want to ask. Could you tell me more about the legendary QD? Yes, I don't mind. As you may already know, she is the absolute ruler and queen of all dragons. Yep. And there is nothing she admires more than the endless potential of humankind. She wishes for all humans to take control of their fate without being ruled or influenced by anyone. Otherwise, you won't get those original main character plots. She has lived for countless eons, witnessing the barbaric era and the Holy Knight's tyranny. So it is easy to understand why she wishes to avoid a similar situation. Huh. Can it just intervene if someone were to take power through violence? Think so would only make her a new tyrant who is manipulating humanity to her wishes, uh, reach her wishes. As a result, all dragons are generally forbidden to intervene in humankind's matters. With the only exception of defending innocent people from direct attacks. I see. Dragons are incredibly powerful after all. So basically, she's telling us to deal with our own problems with our own strength. Yes, I am terribly sorry. 
Lady Masquerade, there is no need to, for you to apologize. You already did more than enough by saving the inhabitants of Buddha. Yeah, we could never ask you to take care of this whole mess. We will make sure to deal with this problem once and for all with our own strength. Yes, yes. Alright, so what's the plan? We need to destroy that giant mushroom and stop it from spreading more spores. But all the bridges setting the Sentinel's Mount have been destroyed. Hmm. Okay, it's time to use our trump card. Uh, Charles, sweetheart, do you have any ideas? This guy! I was really good child when he can't think of something by himself! I know she's the smartest among us, but it's not like she has a solution for everything. I do have a couple of ideas, though. You do? The expanse of water at the center of the holy continent. It's not a natural formation, right? It isn't? When the blue tide first appeared, it destroyed parts of the outer ring of this continent. This created several streets that caused the seawater to flow in and flew the lower plains of our land. We've traveled around most of the outer ring already. I do see that besides the two streets we saw, the rest of the shoreline looked pretty sturdy. And? I'm sure that there's an old entrance to Sentinel's Mound at the bottom of the inner sea. Actually, that must have been the entrance to uh, used before the lower plains got flooded. Really? Yep. <gasps> I've been studying the history of Sentinel's Mount for a while now. Several records state that you had to climb a long stairway after entering from the main gate. This contradicts what we do today. Since we entered the mausoleum from the top of the uh, that island. But Charles, there are tons of monsters living in the sea. And it sounds like we can walk across the bottom. That won't be a problem. Actually, I'm thinking of walking all the way there for real. Walk? And how are we even supposed to do that? We'll just have to drain all the water from the inner sea and reclaim the lower plains. I'm sorry, what? Look, listen to me for a second. All we need to do is plug the streets into in the outer ring to stop more water from flowing in. Once we've done that, we can drink the water from the inner sea, and we're done. We'll have reclaimed the lower plains of the continent so we can walk all the way to Sentinel's Mound. I get that people used to live there in the past, but how are you planning to drain all that seawater? There's a certain bottomless hole we can use. Just grab a bass! But yeah, we'll need a hand. Lady Masquerade. Do you think you could help us and do the seal on the Scrap Abyss? I'm terribly sorry, but the Scrap Abyss was sealed by QD herself. You could try asking her directly, but... <laughs> could we at least ask you to intercede with the Queen of Dragons for us? Apologies, but I believe you may have a better chance of succeeding than myself. Okay, I don't mind meeting such a historical character. She may not listen to you at first, but try to entice her into giving you a condition for her collaboration. I guess it's worth giving it a shot. So, where does she live? There is a place in Hainlein where all dragons go on a pilgrimage to receive their training. Mm -hmm. Once you have completed all its challenges, you should be able to meet her. <gasps> that place! It's decided then! Let's go have a chat with the legendary QD. Alex and the girls decided to follow Charles' preposterous plan and headed for Cutie's palace in Hainline. <laughs> Let me get to the hot spice real quick to get rid of our tenant something. Oh, two tenant somethings! Right. I need to NT right. Ah, <sighs> that was a nice dinner. What should we do for the rest of the evening? Want to go to bed already? Mm. 
まあ言いたくなる気持ちはよくわかる Meals here in the Holy Continent can be somewhat lacking. 宗教大陸最大の都市の宿だからこそよ普段使用しているのはほとんどが巡礼に来た信者たちだからね製品が胸となるってわけ Gladly sent up a starry stomach suddenly pierced through the silence ごごめんなさいま僕たちは巡礼に来た信者じゃなく戦いなんかもする旅人だしな Maybe I could make something for the Yuraki. Let me go take a look at the kitchen. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get a lot of food. But you need to protect us during battles now. You need to make sure that our guard is properly fed. I wouldn't want to see you collapse during a fight. So, so, don't let me know that you can eat it. You can eat it. You can eat it. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, I'll whip up something simple for you. And not until I have any fancy ingredients, but I'm sure I'll be able to come up with something. 30 minutes later, Alex returned from the inn's kitchen with a big pot in his hands. Here you go, I made rice porridge for everyone. It's a little bland, but it should be enough to fill you up. Mmm, it's <laughs> Hell yeah! Hold on, Yuragi mo! Hmm? Did you eat bed sheets? The ex sentinel took a spoonful of the soup and hesitantly moved it to her mouth. Totemo ishii desu! I bought it in milk since you had plenty. It's a little sweet and pretty easy to eat, right? やっぱりユラギはこういつもニコニコとしている方がらしいわだなアレクさんおかわりありますか Sure, we have a lot more Another bowl for this beautiful lady coming right up はーい皆さんおはようございます朝から元気いっぱいねユラギははいアレクさんのおかげです。なあなあ、やめくみぼえし。さあ、張り切っていきましょう。ああ。アレクさんの家族は、ちょっと、and full of energy。爽やかな朝だな。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。Overkill Sword, the Zalagit Saga, and Armors, Professor Jacket, Ceremonial Outfit, Valkyrie Dress, Earth Garment, minus a lot of HP, but a healthy amount of, pe uh, of defense. Adventure Fatigues loses magical resistance. I'll get all this assistance stuff. Let's give it a read. Well, it changes shape, a useless gimmick, but it makes you popular with the kids. Rare blades cut up with the intent to be as indestructible as diamond and unstoppable as thunder. A hammer designed to break rocks. Beware of sudden blood spurts. My hammer will pierce the heavens. Cool. A great sword designed to overkill your enemies. Raises your critical, giving a good chance to uh, overkill for real. A, no a novel written by the founder of the imaginary Hellman Empire. So, take it to live and protect you from ballista arrows. Oh, yeah, definitely that does look tech. It does increase critical, but yeah, it loses magic. Ah, you know what? Oracle Sword and System stuff, I can't. Okay, I got an extra level for everybody. Uh, equipped some stuff for Alex. And I figured out that I need to break the bits first. And then go all out against this crazy fucker. Alright, kind of do our thing. And now we kill it. Almost half already, wow. Half and half! One bar left! A little bit less than one bar. Let's do it again. Oh! It 
there it goes! The last! Trials complete! I am now the master! Very good! Thou has successfully completed even this last trial! As you see, peace is achieved through superior power, uh, firepower. I really have no idea what she's trying to tell us. Here! Thou deserve an arrow prize? Ain't I great? Wow, we did it! Alex and his wife cheerfully celebrated their victory and then approached the winner box. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And since thou has passed my hardest trial, I grant thee the strongest shell. Rap heart! It has an incredible attack power. Thou shalt believe thine eyes. Yay! But it's got their ultimate skill! Seriously, she's just getting stronger and stronger. Not that in the rap heart skill. Wanna... 600% damage. I'll be P. Gun to smithereens. Ah, uh, how many new skill points? Two. Hmm. I don't know about that like, bolt for the ultimate skill of the by the Queen of Dragons. Deals a whooping 600% damage. I'm gonna steal your heart. And if you use it a lot, I will break my pants. <laughs>